the great Johnny Bench, the Hall of Famer, joining us on the program. Uh, Willie McCovey passing away at the age of 80, class of 1986 Hall of Fame, and uh, one of the more feared batters, left-handed batters in the history of the game. And uh, Johnny wanted to pay tribute to Willie McCovey. Good morning, Johnny. Good morning, Dan. Thank you. I, he was the most feared. I, I, I sat back there and... I'm trying to think of a pitch I can get him out, and I don't have one. I don't have a pitcher. I don't have a left-hander. I don't have a right-hander. I don't have any pitch that could do it. And he couldn't have been the most gentle gentleman. I mean, he was just a gentle giant. Uh, one of the things I remember most in, of all of it was when he was, went to the Padres. And uh, Dave, Dave Winfield, he was there and uh, on third base. So Dave thought that, you know, with Willie at the plate, why don't I steal home? <laughs> he throws, the pitcher throws it. I tag Willie out, I tag, uh, tag Dave out. And Willie to this day, now if you can envision, he's standing there and he's looking down right at Dave. And Dave's still lying there. And he puts his bat on his shoulder. Then he reaches up. He takes, a, takes off his helmet with two fingers, lays it down on the ground, takes his bat, Lays it beside the helmet, looked at Dave again, and just turned and went to first base. Why would you Dave said he never home? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> with with McCovey at the no, plate. Dave, we, I, say, I'll t- I always ask Dave about this. I tell that story every time I see Dave anyway <laughs> in the Hall of Fame and everything else. But here's McCovey. And he was, you know, he was the, the shift was the original shift. But explain that shift, shift, though, Johnny, because this was we see the shift now and it's and it's in every game. But they were doing this to McCovey back in the 60s, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we you know, it didn't matter. I mean, I, you know, you talk about some of the guy that you couldn't get a pitch out. Well, you couldn't get us. You couldn't you couldn't sneak. What is this? Somebody said past him. You couldn't see daylight past you. Know, you could, any pitch he could go, he could go out and get it. He could turn on anybody's fastball. And, and, you know, one day Perez was playing behind second and Willie, we did happen to get one in on Willie and he popped it up. I caught it behind third base, right on the line, down the third base line. I caught the ball. That's how high I hit it. I mean, when he hit it, it went to the moon and, but he was the original shift and it didn't matter. And, and the, you know, to play on those knees, what do you have? 493 home runs. I'm just, I, I'm, that's out of the old kid having the bubblegum cards and everything else. I may have had yeah, uh, 469. I don't think he had 500 home runs. So yeah, something like that. But his knees and he hobbled and, you know, it was. But could I you imagine if he didn't so much? He didn't play in Candlestick. If he had played in a ballpark that was like, if he played in Yankee Stadium. Oh, oh, no. I mean, you know, Ruth would have been second. Aaron would have been second. I mean, it was just, it was just amazing what he did. I mean, selling, you know, the people who sold candlestick to San Francisco to build that ballpark. I mean, they took him out at 10 o'clock in the morning, said, look at this piece of property. It is perfect. They wouldn't dare take him out in the afternoon or in the evening when the fall came rolling in. And the wind. You'd hit balls. And, oh, I mean, you know, when, I, when I tried to throw somebody out at second some days, I would start it at shortstop, so it would blow over towards the back. Who was a tougher oh. out than McCovey, though? In your in your no, nobody nobody really nobody no so was I mean, Mays just, Mays was McCovey was easier to get out than Mays yeah because you get Mays to chase a curveball or a slider down and away and you know Willie one day he's he's doing that rocking back and forth with his bat you know how he yeah. spread out and he'd go swinging back and forth and I'm sitting back there squatting and and uh, you know he's done this about six or seven times you know he's had to go out towards the pitcher and then it's sweep back. And he stepped out of the box and he said, you're going to call a pitch or what? <laughs> I said, yeah, as soon as you quit looking back here, oh. he's trying to look at my side. He's trying to steal my side. Oh, man, you got me. You got me. <laughs> now, I mentioned he had, um, he had 469 home runs as a giant. He had 521 home runs total. 21. Yeah. 5, so he, he matched Ted Williams with 521 okay, home that runs. that was it. Yeah. Uh, but I, it's just amazing. And, you know, he... To just every time to be around him, and you know, and, and it, you could see the degradation, uh, degradation of of his body, and he'd come back to the world, uh, the Hall of Fame, and, and you know, he was in the wheelchair, and then he'd be on those crutches. But you know, I'd go out to if I was at Candlestick, he was always there. You know, I could go in and see him and Willie, and you know, and the Giants. To I mean, their credit, I mean, they treated their players just unbelievably, and they kept Willie around, and of course, he was so revered and. Such a great, uh, 
you know, for the for the game of baseball, he was just a, a great humanitarian, great everything about it. But it's a sad day, and you know, unfortunately, you know, uh, we start to lose them, you know, as as we go. Well, it's nice that you thought of him and wanted to pay tribute because at the age of eighty, you know, how many are going to be, you know, willing to do that and uh, have were around to see him play? So uh, I I appreciate you, you know, remembering it's William McCovey. Yeah. That's all. Thanks, Dan. Hi, buddy. Thank you, Johnny. That's uh, Johnny Bench. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.